Vegas investors, I'm going to show you how to go out of town, pick up a Section 8 rental, and get a $20,000 discount in the process. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise, and today I'm helping Vegas investors, right? Because my client, Matt, is a Las Vegas mailman and matt what i don't like to do is gamble right you're from vegas you know all about gambling i don't like to gamble bro and you know what makes it so i don't ever have to gamble section eight because when you're in the low income space right sometimes it's a gamble will they pay rent will they not pay rent right it can throw you off your game a little bit right so i like to go with section eight okay so i'm gonna go over a property for you that's perfect on the section eight program but on top of that I'm going to show you how we are going to work out a $20,000 discount off of what it should actually be selling for because the mom and pop landlord isn't operating it to their full potential. Let's check out the numbers right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's talk about this property, right? This is a Section 8 beast, right? It's going to deliver us some Section 8 money, right? 3217 Poe, Cleveland, 44109. On the market three days, we're going to be in a bidding war because it's listed at only 85K, right? There's some things going on with this, okay? This is Section 8 cash flow beast, all right? But here's the deal. There ain't no Section 8 tenants in here. What? Yeah, Jay Wise, getting crazy. Am I clickbaiting you? No. Look, folks, you have to understand. This thing priced at 85 k that's a gift. If this thing was turnkey, two Section 8 tenants in there, paying market rent, just wrapped up beautifully in a bow for you, your ass would not buy it for 85k. It'd be like 110, 115. As a matter of fact, I still don't think your ass is going to buy it for 85k right now. I think best case scenario, you get in a bidding where we got to go 5k above list. You pull it down for 90, right? The goal is to try to take this down at 90. Why so much? Because market rents, Section 8 tenants, when we get it fully rocking and rolling, it's going to bring in 1500 a month, 18 a year. Of course, you don't keep that. You run your fixed and variable expense estimates, right? You're looking at bringing home just shy of nine grand a year. You do normal, traditional residential financing. All you got to do is put down 22 and a half. Bank kicks in 67 and a half. That kicks off a 25% ROI. It's an awesome deal, right? But the video doesn't end there, people, because that's not exactly where we're at. We got to do some work. Got to have some things go our way to be able to get this thing fully occupied and operational via the Section 8 program. You see, what we have, right? And this is what's more common than like, the quote-unquote turnkey stuff, right, is you could buy rental properties from regular, everyday landlords. Oh, by the way, we actually, speaking of how familiar are with we are with the areas, you know, Holton Wise, $200 million in sales, right? We are the biggest name in the game when it comes to the Cleveland market, Section 8 investments. As a matter of fact, if you look at this property right here, right there, it's hard to tell, but that is a Holton Wise sign because that is one of our rental properties, right? We are all over the place in Cleveland, right? But this one. It's just a solid C-grade rental property that's begging for a new investor to come in and make some moolah, right? We have existing long-term tenants in there, right? And they're getting a discounted rent because we got a mom and pop doing the, you know, mom and pop thing, right? Uh, I wrote down the notes of what they told me. Tenants maintain the property and are friends with the owner's son, so they get a discount, right? They're paying $460 and $480. These are $750 units, people, okay? 
But mom and pops, you know, they become friends with their tenants and they have them cut the grass or do this or that. They, they justify all types of ways to keep the rent low. Makes no sense, right? And again, this should be like a $110,000 property. So they're going to, you know, lose, what is that? If we pick it up at 90, I mean, that, they're going to lose 20 grand by not professionally managing it, right? You're not going to make that mistake though because you're going to have Holton Wise professionally manage it, right? So you're looking at $750 units. But the current owner... You know, they're not positioning this in uh, the proper way, right? They're, you know, being friends with the tenants, getting them a break, and they're going to lose on it, but you're going to win, right? Uh, so that allows us to come in and pick it up for so cheap, right? So what you have to understand, though, with that, right, is it's not like we just buy it, and then that day we go in and go, hey, 460, 480 tenants, you guys now pay 750, bada bing, bada boom, story's over, and then they just give us this money, right? That's not how this works, right? And as you tell from all these photos, right, nothing's like, wrong with this but there's a lot of crap in this house right there's just like a lot of stuff in here okay so what we don't want to do is have those people immediately move out right because to do that that money we saved buying it because the landlord hasn't positioned it correctly we would just have to put it right back into the property getting it renovated fresh clean ready for those new 750 dollars section 8 tenants right so we're going to do something in the middle right the uh, mom and pop rent it for four sixty four eighty. Market is seven fifty seven fifty. We got to do something in the middle to make sure the most money. What we want to do, acquire it now at that discount, right, and then slowly work those tenants up towards that seven hundred fifty dollar rent roll, right. If you just immediately do it, they're probably gonna move out, right. But dude, four sixty four eighty, you can't get an apartment like this for that cheap, right. But you don't want to totally price them out because they'll move out and then you got to renovate the unit. So I'd like to go up 50, 100 bucks every single year. Keep them in the property, paying your mortgage, paying you cash flow as long as humanly possible. Don't create a turnover you don't need to create because in this business, there's going to be enough turnovers to go around, right? So you want to work them as close to 750 without a turnover. And then when they eventually do move out, because they will, because that's what happens in the rental game, right? People move out. Then we'll do the reno. Then, then we'll worry about that Section 8 money, right? No sense worrying about it now. What you're buying is a tenant base, not these two particular tenants. These two particular tenants are a short-term money-making opportunity for you to get to your ultimate goal, which is Section 8, 750, 750. But let's get to that goal while making as much money possible. And we're going to do that by getting a discount because this mom-and-pop landlord is not positioning this property in the right way and keeping the existing cash flow coming in the door. Then after that, boom, when the time is right, set this thing up and get that sweet, sweet Section 8 cash flow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.